here we go. Question number eight from our college algebra homework number four on my lab math. The instructions say graph the polynomial function. So I have my function written down over here on the side. And the first thing I notice about this function is that it has a degree of two, which makes it quadratic. So we know that our graph is going to be quadratic. And so if I come over here and click to enlarge, it says click the graph, choose a tool in the palette. And so what I want to choose is the three-point quadratic tool. And since it's the three-point tool, it means I'm going to need three points. So in order to find my three points, what I'm going to do is come over here to my function. And I'm going to make a little XY table. And I'm going to pick three X's, find the Y's, plot the points, and connect the dots. So the easiest X to work with, in my opinion, is zero. Let's pick zero first. That's going to make every term that has an X go to zero and leave negative seven. Okay, and again, you can pick any X you want. So let's say, I don't know, one maybe. And then to find that value, I'm going to say one squared plus 6 times 1 minus 7. I'm going to actually plug the 1 in for every x and work that out. And that's going to be 7 minus 7. That's going to be 0. And use a calculator if you need to. Now, I need another x. One more x. Uh, I don't know. Let's say negative 1. Okay, so that's going to be negative 1 squared plus 6 times negative 1 minus 7. And if we plug that into our handy dandy calculator, let's see, negative one squared plus six times negative one minus seven, that's gonna give us negative 12. And the graph will allow me to plot that. All right, so these are gonna be three good points. Now let's plot them. Zero, negative seven, Notice in the upper right-hand corner, I can see 0, negative 7 is where I'm at. So I know that that's the right place to click. 1 and 0. And negative 1 is at negative 12. Negative 1 is at negative 12. And I'm going to click there, and that shows my graph. So I'm going to click Save. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you notice that I have already graphed that in Desmos. And it looks the same. The only reason it doesn't look completely identical is because of the, uh, the scale here. Notice the x-axis is going from 20 to negative 20. This one only goes from negative 10 to 10. So it looks a little bit different. But you can use Desmos to check and see if it looks right. And then we're going to check that. And bam, we're done. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.